Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I am going to be teaching you how to use logging in Python. Let's get right into it. So, if you don't know what logging is, it is a way to track events that happen in your code. And events have different levels of importance, and this is called the level or severity. The different levels of severity are debug, info, warning, error, and critical. And we can log these with some functions that are part of the logging module. Debug is for really detailed information, info is for confirmation that things are working as expected, warning is an indication that something unexpected has happened but is still running fine, error is for when the program hasn't been able to run a certain command, and finally critical is for a serious error and the program won't be able to run anymore and it will crash. So now that we know that, let's start programming. So the first thing we need to do is import logging. And now that we've imported logging, let's just log some info as well as a warning. We can just do it like this, logging dot warning. This is a warning. And we can also do logging dot info. This is some info. And if we run it, we can see that we get some output to the console. And we can see that the warning has been outputted but for some reason we don't get our info. And this is because the default level or severity of our program is set to warning. So if we look at the message, so we've got the level, we've got this root part right here which you don't need to worry about, and then we've got our message. Now, we didn't get our info because the default level is set to warning, but we can change the default level with the basic config function. So let's do that now. We can do logging dot basic config level equals logging dot debug in all caps. And this has set the level of the program to debug, and this means that any debugs will be logged. And because debug is the least important, every other level will also be logged. So if we run it, we can see we get our warning, and we also get our info. So you might be wondering why would we log to a console and can't I just use print statements? But you should probably start using logging simply because you get a lot more control over what you do, whether you want some info, a warning, you can set the default level. But also you can log to files, which is what we're going to learn about now. This is a very common thing to do because your logs will be saved after the program has finished. So all you have to do to log to a file is to come up to our basic config function and set a parameter as file name and set that equal to your file name that you want to log to so for me it's just going to be file.log so if we run it now we can see we don't get any output anymore but we can see right here that we've got this file.log and if we open it we can see we've got our warning and we've also got info now quickly we can change the format of our logs if we refer to the documentation here we can see that these are all the different ways we can format things. This is how we do the time, this is how we get the level, this is how we get the message. Add another parameter to our basic config and we do format equals, put it in some speech marks and save that. This will print the time, this will print the level and this will print the message. So if we run this now, and we can see we've got the time right here, we've got the level and we've got our message. So just to recap, logging is a way to track events in your code, and these events have different levels of importance. We can log different levels using different functions, for example the warning function. We can change the default level of the program to log different levels, so if you have the default set to debug, it would log all of the debugs and everything else that is more important than the debug level. And we can also log to files, as well as change the format of our logs. So, this is the end of the Python Advanced Tutorial series. As always, any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, it really does help me out. If you would like to see more tutorials from me, then be sure to subscribe. That's it from me, cheers and goodbye.